the jewels of the Arab world, Jeddah. One of the biggest cities in Saudi Arabia, second only to Riyadh, gateway to Mecca and one of the biggest ports in the region. And now, host to the Saudi Arabia Grand Prix. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks like for today's race. It's a Mercedes pole position then. Edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have... Leclerc, Sainz, Russell, Norris, Oscar Piastri, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Gasly, Ocon, Joe, Stroll, Magnussen, Sonoda, Holkenberg, Sargent, Ricardo, Bottas, and Alex Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. And joining me once again... Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Now if you're a Formula 1 fan you've been seeing a lot of turmoil happening with the Red Bull. Uh, specifically Christian Horner. Now there are also some rumours that Max Verstappen could also be leaving Red Bull if Helmut Marko also decides to leave the team. Now that got me thinking with a lot of rumours uh, with... Verstappen potentially going to Mercedes um, I thought let me try and put Max in a Mercedes car and see what he can do at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix which is the next race we have this weekend now there have been pictures of uh, Jos Verstappen Max's dad in meetings with Toto and obviously with what's happening with Christian Horner and um, this debacle that's been happening um, it remains to be seen whether Max potentially stays with Red Bull in the future. Um, he's not really come out in support of Horner. Uh, Jos Verstappen has actually said himself that Horner should leave and he's creating a rift between the teams. So who knows uh, what's going to happen in the future. Uh, there are also rumours that Ford might want to pull out of their deal with Red Bull which is due to start in 2026. Um, so yeah, that's another crazy thing that's happening. We've done what, one race in the 2024 season and the amount of stuff that's just been happening in this in this formula one universe is ridiculous i mean it all started off with hamilton joining ferrari and now obviously mercedes potentially have a spare seat available um whether max wants to join that team or not we'll see but yeah thought i'd do a mini gameplay of max racing as mercedes in jeddah now you'll also be seeing another Verstappen this time racing for Red Bull uh, for some odd reason on uh, any games console for this game you can't um, change drivers you can't mod the game unless you have a PC version of it like you've seen many YouTubers do it so what I've had to done is basically put Verstappen in a my team uh, career mode and then just build him as a Mercedes driver so that's what I'm what I've been doing so hopefully you enjoyed this video Oh, we are into lap 3 of this race, um, it's been a while since I played F123, so f first time I've been playing it in months probably, and thought I'd just start the game, and to be fair, I had quite of a interesting race, I mean, as you can see here, Verstappen coming on against Verstappen in a Mercedes uh, towards the straight finish, we're into lap 5 of the game, uh, pretty simple so far, haven't had that many issues. Uh, I felt the car oversteering quite a bit, but nonetheless, it was still fun to drive. Um, I think this is like the first time in a while I've actually driven with a Mercedes car. It's usually my team, uh, which I'm doing as a Lamborghini. But yeah, it's quite fun to play. Uh, coming up to lap seven, finishing lap six, still top. We've got uh, Lando Norris coming in for a pit stop whilst uh, Verstappen and Sainz behind me just battling it out. Uh, we've got the Ferrari coming up on the inside making the move but obviously I'm too fast at the straight. So another lap in the lead. We'll see what happens here and whether they're gonna try and come back at me. As you can see I'm just playing around with the camera modes and honestly they are really nice to see. Um, whenever I do races I rarely ever check the replay mode. So uh, yeah, I'm liking these views. So we've had Science overtake me. Now into POV mode, we've got Verstappen on the left of me. 
uh, this is going to be a very intense battle but we're coming in for our pit stop we're moving from uh, softs no mediums to hards uh, doing a one stop race in a 13 lap uh, race it's a quick stop but as you can see here we are being held up and both the Red Bull and the Ferrari have overtaken me which isn't ideal so having come into the pits second we are now fifth I believe uh, behind the two uh, Red Bulls and Ferraris it's basically up to me to try and bring these positions back and almost immediately we overtake the Ferrari and now we're behind Verstappen and uh, Lando Norris for P1 and P2 uh, the next few laps are going to be very interesting and they are really fun to um, fun to drive so just enjoy this uh, POV and see how it looks Back into my POV cam and we're just checking the the battle ahead of us uh, between Norris and Verstappen we've got DRS uh, slowly gaining speed towards Norris and hopefully try and get him on this straight finish line but it is tough these two cars ahead of me have got so much power and this Mercedes uh, again it's the start of my team's career mode so they're not as developed as I'd like them to be but we just keep battling and Verstappen down to second Norris up ahead now so we're just trying to get as close as we can coming into the last four laps of the race and this overhead cam is just so good focusing on on, on the battle ahead of us and um, behind us as well we've got I think Leclerc and Checo just battling it out lap 9 uh, looking for that number 4 position uh, as I was looking looking back at this race, it was just really interesting to watch and you know what, it's it's a shame we don't get this sort of fighting in real life we've got Verstappen just winning races by 20 seconds and then the rest of the field behind is just, it's not that entertaining well, from what I've seen in Bahrain so hopefully from Saudi Arabia onwards we're getting some interesting action Right, we're, hit, we're in lap 12 now out of 13. Uh, in first place, Lando Norris behind, and then we've got Red Bulls Verstappen. And we've just been overtaken by Lando Norris heading into the final corner of the game. I mean, the track. A dive bomb into the final straight, and now we've got Norris and Verstappen battling out behind us. Uh, low on a battery. Uh, we're now on our final lap, and I've got both cars behind me, sandbagging me in the middle. What a crazy end to this start of the lap had to go wide and coming into the first corner ahead of both Norris and Verstappen I've not had races like this before it's always usually me at the top or just running away with the race so it was actually quite nice to have a nice battle like this uh, just sit back and enjoy the final section of this lap which was really nice and stay tuned towards the end for the photo finish We're at the final corner, uh, heading into the main straight. Just ahead of Norris, we've got the Red Bull, the Ferrari, the Red Bull behind me. Coming into the final straight, just in the lead, we've got Lando Norris trying to overtake me. Steady ahead of him, and Verstappen down the side, just about 
finished ahead of him which was very interesting to see uh, so there's the result Max Verstappen of Mercedes finishes in first place ahead of Land uh, well ahead of Max Verstappen of Red Bull and Lando Norris of McLaren uh, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, little video I made it was a bit difficult to make obviously with uh, no modding alone on the Xbox so I just had to do it the long way it'd be interesting to see if uh, Verstappen actually goes to Mercedes um, I highly doubt it I think it'll be Red Bull through and through but you never know uh, you never know in Formula 1 uh, again thanks for watching this video leave a like press that subscribe button and until next time so after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take the top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. So let's see what effect this result has had on the driver's standings. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. Let's focus.